Hey guys, so I'm out here in Oregon building a little awning for my cabin. And uh, I had to cut some notches in for my design. I cut some notches in my posts here. I've seen different ways. The most common way I've seen online people showing how to do it is using a, a skill saw and just cutting tons of cuts until you can kind of knock them out with a hammer. And that's fine, but I got 11 and a half inches here to cut. I don't really want to cut all day with my skill saw. So uh, I'm going to show you, I have one more, one other one to do. I'll show you what I did and how I did it. So first I got to set the depth of my saw to two inches because that's how much, how, how deep I want my notch to be. And I'll cut the bottom one first here. This line needs to line up with the one on the other side. Okay. Now I'm gonna cut right along my line right there. Um, but I'm gonna be, so I'm gonna set my depth to the full depth again, because I want it to cut as deep as possible. Um, but I'm gonna be careful when I go to cut that, that I dip, I have to dip in in the middle of the cut. Um, and then I have to go up till I just get close to hitting that, and then down till I just get close to hitting that, but I can't go too far or I'm gonna uh, see the lines extra. So it, you gotta be really careful with this step. Great. All right. Now this next part is the cool part. If you get a nice angle on it like this, you can go slowly and you can get it to dip in. So I'm going to dip in a little bit on this side and then I'm going to go from the other side and do the same thing. Now you could keep going and go all the way through, but the odds of you popping out right in the, in the other line are pretty slim because the blade's pretty bendy. So if you only go halfway and then do the rest from this side, then you keep both lines nice and clean. Perfect, poked out right there. That's great. So let's come in from this side now. At the very top, there you go. It's a pretty nice notch through there.